Hi students. Okay, today we are learning the topic is Fourier series. So how to expand the Fourier series expansion of the given function f of x in the interval. Okay, first of all see the introduction. Okay, we know that already expand some of the series expansion is Taylor series expansion is valid only for the functions which are continuous and differentiable. Okay, whereas Fourier series is possible not only for these functions and also periodic functions and even for discontinuous functions. And the Fourier series is expansion of the given function in the interval of the function. Which type of function? Not only continuous, not only differentiable, not only any other function like that periodic functions and discontinuous function these are all type of function having the Fourier series expansion in the given interval so Taylor series expansion uh, define it only point so Fourier series expansion is in the interval finite interval so see that that is uh, Fourier series and infinite series representation of a periodic function in terms of the trigonometric sine and cosine functions so the series expansion in terms of sine and cosine functions that is totally series the series is only infinite series then. okay now so that is equal to here uh, what is the using of Fourier series expansion Fourier series is very powerful method to solve ordinary and partial differential equation this is one of the application of Fourier series this is useful for solving differential equations okay now this is the introduction of the given function next one uh, definition of periodic function so if a function f of x is said to be periodic function with period t which is greater than 0 if f of x equal to f of x plus t equal to f of x plus 2t is equal to f of x plus 3t up to so on and in the given function replacing x plus some number t is a number and so differences must be t t or 2t or 3t we are getting the again same function so then the function f of x is called periodic function with the period t okay so one of the important definition digitalate conditions so this is a condition for existence of the Fourier series so this condition is only sufficient and okay now when the function f of x having the series f of x must be following the conditions that conditions are called digital conditions see that uh, the function f of x satisfies the following digital conditions in the given finite interval so first one is f of x and its integral is a well-defined function and a single valued the only single value exists and must be that function and its integral function is always well defined. Second one f of x has finite number of finite discontinuous. The function is defined in many cases and so that function having must be finite discontinuity points. Third one f of x has finite number of maxima and minima. So every function defined in some subintervals and in every subintervals the function having finite maxima and minima. So these three conditions are called digital conditions. Okay. So note the above conditions are sufficient but not necessary to have the Fourier series of f of x. But if f of x satisfied digital conditions then the Fourier series of f of x convergence so it's not must be only the condition is only sufficient but not necessary okay but if f of x satisfies the digital condition then Fourier series is of f of x must be convergence okay this is one of the condition see the next one okay definition of Fourier series uh, let f of x be a periodic function with period 2L. 2L is a period defined in the interval 
c comma c plus two l then the Fourier series of f of x in the interval c comma c plus two l is given by and this is one of the interval and because c is a constant c is a different different values substituting different different intervals okay this is a first to finite uh, interval uh, this is the for a series expansion of the given function f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n into cos n pi x by l plus b n into sin n pi x by l so which you learned in the series expansion cos function and sin function so this is a total in terms of sin and cosine functions so where a naught a n b n are coefficients which are given by a naught is equal to 1 by L into integration C2 C plus 2 L F of X into DX. So in the interval C comma C plus 2 L and this integration from C2 C plus 2 L. Next A N. A N is equal 1 by L into integration C2 C plus 2 L F of X into cos N pi X by L into DX. And B N is equal to 1 by L into integration C2 C plus 2 L F of X into sin N pi X by L. This is a B N value. So, these three values are sub, uh, finding and substituting in the series. That is a required for your series expansion of the given function f of x in the interval c comma c plus 12. So, here the coefficients a naught a and b n are called Fourier coefficients. So, this is the definition of the Fourier series expansion. So, now different different intervals we have to uh, define the Fourier series of the given function. And C plus so some values substituting. So we have totally four intervals. First one 0, 2L, next to minus L, L, next to 0, 2 pi, next to minus 5, 5. So pi is the radian is a fixed. So 0, 2L minus L, L. Okay, L is a any number. L is any real number substituting that one. Okay now. So this is the four intervals. We have to define the Fourier series. See the definition. Okay, Fourier series can be obtained in four different forms of the intervals. That is a already I told 0, 2 L minus L, L, 0, 2 pi minus 5, 5. Okay. In the above Fourier series formula, substituting first for uh, first interval C is equal to substitute. Next minus L, L substitute C is equal to minus L. So second third interval for 0, 2 pi substitute c is equal to 0 l is equal to 5 next fourth interval for minus 5 comma 5 put c is equal to minus 5 and l is equal to 5 so this is a four different intervals in the four intervals we have to define the Fourier series okay see that yeah case 1 for a series of f of x in 0, 2 l is given by so this is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n into cos n pi x by l into b n into sin n pi x by l where a naught is equal to a naught is equal to 1 by l which is integration 0 to 2 l at a c plus the 0 substitution in the same formula only but substituting the different c value and l value so this is the a naught value, a n value 1 by l into integration 0 to l, f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx. Next to b n value 1 by l into integration 0 to 2 l, f of x into sin n pi x by l into dx. So this is the first two formula in the interval 0 comma 2 l. Okay, next one. Case 2. For a series of f of x in the interval minus l comma l is given by so this is the same formula only but in uh, coefficient different where a naught is equal to 1 by l into integration minus l to l this is the integration interval minus l to l and f of x into dx a n is equal to same 1 by l into integration minus l to l f of x into cos n pi x by l into dx b n is equal to 1 by l into integration minus l to l f of x into sin n pi x by l into dx. So this is a bn value. This is a second interval. Similarly we have to define the remaining intervals. 
so for a series of f of x in the interval 0 comma 2 pi is given by so 0 comma 2 l low l place low pi replace chain easy both maniki case 1 low 0 comma 2 l gada l place low pi replace so f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n into cos n x you observe chain l ki phi ki n pi x by l gada and l is equal pi replacing and pi pi cancel and cos n x Similarly, sin nx. These are different from uh, two intervals 0, 2l minus l, l and minus 5, 5 and 0, 2y. These are different. Next, a naught is equal to 1 by 5 into integration 0 to 2 pi. This is a given interval f of x into dx. a n is equal to 1 by 5 into integration 0 to 2 pi f of x into cos nx. It is different. And cos n pi x by l plus low, l plus low pi. pi pi cancel cos nx dx next to bn is equal to 1 by 5 into integration 0 to 2 pi f of x into sin nx into dx so this is the for a series in the interval 0 comma 2 pi next to fourth one uh, in the interval minus 5 comma 5 interval and so that is equal same formula f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n into cos n x plus b n into sin n x where a naught is equal to 1 by 5 into integration minus 5 to 5 this is the interval and f of x into dx similarly a n 1 by 5 into integration minus 5 to 5 f of x into cos n x into dx b n is equal to 1 by 5 into integration minus 5 to 5 f of x into sin n x into dx so this is a 4 in the 4 different intervals so different for a series of the given function okay na so directly a naught a n b n finding substituting in the series that is called for a series of the given function in the given interval okay so next convergence of for a series and a you have to finding the series of the given function f of x the total series is convergence so which way uh, which is convergence to which value so what is the value see that your conditions are given so if f of x is continuous at point c in the between a and b then the Fourier series of f of x at x is equal c convergence to f of s f of c and that means given function is the uh, continuous in the given any finite interval then the total series is equal to the f of c and at the point c is a continuous the total series expansion that is series is convergence to the f of c and so this is a f of c is equal to for the series expansion so this is when f of x is continuous next second one if f of x is discontinuous at the point c between a and b then the Fourier series of f of x at c convergence to f of c minus 0 plus f of c plus 0 by 2 that means discontinuous means uh, is not continuous and the left hand limit and uh, left hand continuity and right hand continuity both are not equal so then how to uh, the series is convergence which to which value the average of left continuity and right continuity so f of c minus 0 means left continuity plus f of c plus 0 that is right continuity the average of the both values is equal to the given series when the function f of x is discontinuous ok now continuous say no directly f of c equal to for a series uh, in case discontinuous that is equal to the average of left hand and right hand continuities ok next one if one of the Ditchley conditions is not satisfied for the given function f of x then the Fourier series of f of x or may or may not be convergence in three type three conditions of Ditchley condition any one condition not satisfied that function may may not be convergence not particular compulsory column ok may may not be convergence so this is a one of the convergence of Fourier series so these are all uh, useful uh, these are all useful in problems only okay na so next one 
so next so next topic is fourier series for even and odd functions in the interval minus l comma l and minus phi comma phi and this is a shortcut method sunday for in the previous formulas for any function we have to finding the for a series of the given four intervals so this is only in the particular inter in intervals minus l comma l and minus phi comma phi so we are given even function odd function in the interval we define the given functions even or odd then what is the fourier series of the given function this is a shortcut methods okay now see that definitions are for even function the fourier series of an even function f of x in minus l comma l is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite a n into cos n pi x by l for even function ki automatically b n 0 and because f of x sin f of x even sin is odd gada and the total value 0 i put and automatically b n 0 this is a a naught a n for finding where a naught is equal to 2 by l 2 by l into integration 0 to l f of x dx an is equal to 2 by l into integration 0 to l f of x into cos n by x by l into dx finding a naught an value substituting in this one that is the required process of the given fun uh, even function in the interval minus l comma l similarly in the interval minus phi comma phi is given formula f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinite an into cos nx so in the interval minus phi comma phi so over a naught is equal to 2 by phi integration 0 to phi f of x into dx you got 2 by phi and the general formula 1 by 1 to the so even uh, special cases go on the 2 by us 2 by phi 0 to phi f of x dx a n is equal to 2 by phi 0 to phi f of x into cos nx academy minus phi to phi minus l to l l together okay, 0 to phi 0 to l is a different okay now this is the for even function similarly for odd functions the for a series of an odd function of f of x in the interval minus l comma l is f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinite b n into sin n pi x by l and automatically a naught a n 0 i put nandhi a naught value a n value 0 i put for odd functions only only finding b n value where b n is equal to 2 by l integration 0 to l f of x into sin n pi x by l into dx this is the b n value this is a 2 by l and different okay now similarly in the interval minus phi comma phi the phase series of of an odd function f of x in the interval minus phi comma phi is f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinite b n into sin n x where b n is equal to 2 by phi integration 0 to phi f of x into sin x sin n x into dx okay this is a odd function so in case we know uh, we, uh, we know that the given function is odd or even is no problem directly using the any formula for given four intervals and only but specify even function or odd function in the interval minus l comma l minus phi, phi comma phi then using the this shortcut formulas otherwise we can use the direct formula for the given okay okay for more videos please do subscribe my channel like and share it thank you